Hello people, good afternoon. This is Iko Kusisi from the African Press Club live in Barcelona. How are you today? Um, I'm so happy because I'm on the rooftop today. <laughs> I'm just going to turn around so that you can see a little bit of you know where we are. It's awesome. Let's see. Okay. Let's go this way. Thank goodness for summer. What would we do without it? You can see. You can see. It's beautiful. Great weather. Anyway, so what do I want to talk about today? I'm so tired of this lockdown. I don't know about you. Um, the lockdown has been extended to May 24th here in Spain and I'm hearing that um, we might not be completely out that it may continue till end of June it has been relaxed a little bit there are more people in the streets uh, some shops have opened some restaurants have opened as well but you cannot eat in them you have to order and then you can you have to pick it up as a takeaway so those are the new rules um, but I tell you I'm so tired I want to be out I don't understand what is going on anymore I don't even know what to believe it's crazy how do you quarantine healthy people you know I don't know but um that's what it is for now so I'm out, out here in the in the terrace and I'm so happy because we're close to nature it's awesome it's great and we thank the Almighty <laughs> you know so one of the lifesavers during this um, pandemic has been the virtual workout that we do every day of the week I mean you don't have to join every day of the week but it's available and I wanted to talk to the person who set it up and have a little discussion about her because it has been so helpful to a lot of people especially when you're eating every day all the time and you're not moving you're not going anywhere you know you can put on weight very fast so the workout has been great in clearing my head helping me feel better you know it's it's it's, it's awesome so this is cecilia hi, hi cecilia how are you <laughs> i'm fine thank you and you i'm fine i'm doing good how are you doing with the lockdown <laughs> i'm getting used to it yeah it's been Why did you decide to set up the workout, the virtual workout? So basically what I wanted to do is um, I wanted to keep moving, keep active. Uh, and I thought maybe I'm not the only one. Maybe there are some of my friends who also want to, to work out a little bit and that are thinking, oh, I don't want to do it by myself. I don't want to be all alone. It's a bit silly, like just jumping around. And I thought maybe we can gather and, and do it together. Uh, also, being together, knowing that there is a time, a specific time every day that you have the opportunity to connect with your friends and do something healthy and useful, uh, it's actually very positive. Yeah, and we started, uh, was it the first or second week of lockdown? That we, we started, started on March 16th. March 16th. You know, and yeah, yeah it's been. Uh, ever since and I think it's really important to have like a mental space in where you know that
that there's a space open, safe, that you can do something good for yourself and that you're accountable. So you actually have to wake up, get dressed and meet other people and do something for your, uh, for your body, for your health. So apart from like the trivial thing of yeah, uh, you want to keep healthy, you need to keep moving, it's actually giving you mental strength yes. to know that you're doing something that you can control. Like among all this uncertainty, there's something that you can control and how you keep you take care of yourself. Yeah. I totally yeah, I totally agree with you because um, every day I look forward to this workout. Every day seven o'clock <laughs> it's seven to eight PM. I'm like, you know, ready, gearing up, you know, putting on my shorts, my top, my shoes, and I'm like <laughs> waiting to <laughs> to start. So it's 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 wonderful. Um, for people who would like to set up a virtual workout, can you take us through the steps okay. to set one up? So basically just ask your friends. Uh, you would be surprised. There's some people that are, I personally had no clue that they really wanted to work out. That that's, that was something uh, key for them, like really important in their day to day life. Just ask them and create a, a group a WhatsApp group, connect, make sure that they all have the same app, whether it's Zoom or Skype, uh, set up a day, stick to that day, and just make it happen. Uh, it's nice when people can give the feedback, when they can actually participate, say what they like, say what they don't like, because in these days that we're living in right now, uh, we're all very sensitive, so it, it has to be an open space. Uh, with freedom, everybody can actually express what they want, but make sure it happens every day and don't slack. Yeah, that's one of the things I would say it has to be consistent uh, because even on some days where so many people are unable to join, you would find Cecilia there. <laughs> she is the lead, she is always there, and you know, I really bless your heart because this has been a saver, you know, for me uh, during this very difficult time. Um, that we are in the, the global pandemic. So, is there any other thing you want to say about working out, feeling good, you know, getting up every day, you know, to help yourself during this time? The only thing I want to say is that you would be surprised by how much it strengthens your your mental health. It's not only about your body. It's not about doing something good for you, but it's also what you're doing to yourself, how you're taking care of yourself and how you're taking care of others. And I'm very happy that it's some people that they hold them accountable and just work out. <laughs> <laughs> One little detail. While we were sitting there, I found that it was so noisy that we couldn't film. Um, but I would like to us to explain to people why there's so much noise coming from that thing. Cecilia, can you can you <laughs> so take us through that? They, there is a it's a decoration uh, item, but it's also protection. Uh, it's like a bird deterrent, so the noise is annoying to them. Now, and what type of bird? The seagulls, that's gaviota, the sea seagulls. So they nest. So tell, tell us why you put the lockdown. The seagulls were attempting to take over your terrace, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. And can you explain that to us? It happened last year and they actually took over. And it was impossible for me to just go out on the terrace because they would attack us. Uh, somebody from the city hall had to come and remove the nest. It was actually quite dangerous because they would attack and die uh, when you, because they, they would try to attack. I mean, it's, it's actually something uh, natural, but uh, yeah, this year I thought it's not going to happen. So there's be, there'll be a light and shiny stuff which they, they don't like, and I do. So it's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. You took your life back. <laughs> you took your 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 it's all, back. It's all about this. Take your health back. Take your space back. Take what you have back and share it. You love. Yeah. Thank you so much, Cecilia. You know, it's wonderful that you have this beautiful space. Guys, let me show you around again. Oh my God, I am so loving this. <laughs> Lockdown is good with a, a, a balcony. 
as big as this and this is Barcelona the view of Barcelona oh my god oh wow nature is beautiful yeah awesome anyway I hope you've enjoyed the video today um, if you like my video please Take care, have a good week, and I'll see you soon. Bye!